challenges that AI brings to the automobile industry? Currently, if we see, you know, the, the fatalities which are there in India, they are, you know, almost uh, on the, uh, they are the maximum in the world as of now. We have got about, you know, 17 deaths uh, every hour. So, we have got a, you know, huge responsibility and also, you know, uh, with that uh, comes the business opportunity as well, wherein, you know, AI is going to play a huge role in mitigating the accident risks. We can reduce uh, these, uh, you know, fatalities uh, by almost 60-70% uh, by applying, you know, AI uh, into the automobiles. So, how much adoption is possible in a country like India? See, uh, you know, what is important for a country like us where, you know, the motorization has just started to expand is that we need to educate uh, our customers. The education part of it uh, is uh, lacking, the know-how is lacking and the most important part is that uh, AI works only well in disciplined environments. So first and foremost we need to educate and bring in road discipline. Then only you know we'll get uh, you know the fruits that we are uh, that we would want to have uh, by applying AI into automobiles. Because unless we have those uh, disciplined driving, the roads properly engineered you know, like entry exits to the highways, you know, where most of the accidents happen, the lighting on the roads, if they are not proper, how, you know, AI will help us. So, as I already, you know, mentioned before also that automobile manufacturers can provide the technology part, but automobile manufacturers cannot provide a technology to have administrative issues resolved. We can resolve, uh, with technology, we can resolve technical issues, not uh, the administrative issues. So, will you like to say something about the cost burden that is coming with, along with these new technologies? Oh, I won't say there is a cost burden. It's only a matter of time, you know, like, uh, if, if I talk about cell phones, the cost of cell phones or the, you know, uh, the cost of calls that we used to pay uh, when cell phones just came into the market. But with the economy of scale, uh, you know, uh, see what's happened today. We get free internet, we have got, uh, you know, uh, uh, mobile phones, uh, the, uh, they have, now uh, we have got smartphones which have come in. So similarly, we'll have smart vehicles coming in. And when the economy of scales are there, I don't think, you know, cost would be an uh, issue. The, the technology, you know, once the scales are there, it'll, at one point of time, it will become viable and economic. Can you share some best practices for implementing a new technology when it comes to the OEMs for automobile industry? Best practices as such is that, uh, you know, uh, whenever we want to get in uh, a new technology, uh, it is very important to educate first, educate the customers, you know, uh, make people aware as to what are the benefits that they are going to get when they use this technology because uh, there is always, uh, you know, uh, uh, there, uh, there is uh, confusion or sometimes uh, people are hesitant to use uh, something new that is coming into the fore. So, the first and most important part while implementing these technologies is to make people aware, you know, of the consequences of the technology first before making it, you know, uh, making them adopt those technologies. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.